So hello and welcome back and in this video I will just show you how to use Flexbox and in the first part of this video we will go over um, Flexbox Froggy uh, as you can see on the screen right now and yeah, you can find this on flexboxfroggy.com and I would recommend you to play through this as well. It gives you a really nice introduction into how to use Flexbox. As you can see, you can use justify content to um, justify the content on the main axis. The flexbox works in two axes, the main axis, axis and the cross axis, where you can use justify content to move the items on the main axis and you can use align items, as you can see here, to move the items on the cross axis. As you can see here, has the same properties as justify content. And here in this um, example, we need to use both and so on. I'm just moving fast um, through this website. I would recommend to check it out yourself. And if you're stuck, then maybe check back here. Here I explain um, the difference between space evenly, space around and space between. Um, it's also explained on the website itself. Uh, unfortunately, the original audio got deleted. Um, we can also change the direction of the main axis, as we can see here. Um, we have the row now reversed, so the main axis starts from the right instead of from the left. But we can also use the column as the main axis, as we can see here. Column can also be reversed, and if we use space between here, then the space will be um, divided evenly between the frogs. And in this example, we need to combine some properties. In this example, we need to change the order of one item. Um, the regular order is zero, so anything that is negative will be placed more um, to left or more at the start and anything above zero will be placed more towards the end. We can also change the alignment of oneself with align self as we can see here and by default um, the flex doesn't wrap the items so we can set the flex wrap property to wrap the items. pretty self-explanatory, I think, if you are moving um, along with these examples on the website. We can also adjust how the wrapped items get positioned with the uh, align content property, as we can see here. And this one was the final example where we need to combine a lot of these properties that we've learned. And so much for that. And with that information, I will now go ahead and apply the Flexbox um, layout to the footer and to the header. So we have a nice um, footer and header that is responsive and well looks pretty. <laughs> 
So for that we first make the footer and the header into a flex box by setting the display property to flex. And also I'm, I'm thinking about um, how I want to justify the content and I think I will decide on um, space evenly so the items in the footer and the header are spaced evenly apart. I'm also adjusting the um, font size for the links in the header. And right here um, I realized that I need to set the list um, as, a, as the flexbox container and not the header itself. I'm giving some padding to the links so they are positioned a little bit better. I'm playing around with the position here a little bit to align the items more. What I need to do here now is that I see that the list needs a padding to the top a little bit and that is what I'm doing there then. And one uh, ram is too much so I'm halving that and with that it looks like it should look like. And yeah, that was everything for this video where we learned about the Flexbox and also used it to design the header and the footer. And in the next video, um, we will do the same for the grid layout and apply that to the website as well. So yeah, see you next time then.